In this video, we are going to show you how to create your target audience. There are multiple different types of audiences you can build. So I'm, I'm in business manager right now, obviously business.facebook.com. We talk about that all the time, but if you click on the hamburger menu and you go into audiences or you go down here into audiences, once you click on it, you're going to be provided with multiple different options. So we always recommend that you clearly, clearly build out your audiences and save them before you actually build your Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn campaigns, whatever you're building, um, build your audiences before you go from beginning to end building out your ad. So you have uh, four options here. Hold on, I'm gonna move this little bubble with my face <laughs> so you guys can see everything. Okay, so you can build um, a custom audience, um, which is customer contacts, website traffic, uh, people that have already connected with your business. You can actually upload your CRM data and information. So for example, if you use VIN Solutions, Dealer Socket, eLead One, whatever you want to do, um, you can take your customer contacts and you can upload them into a custom audience. The next thing that you can do is you can build what's called a lookalike audience. So for example, if you upload that CRM database, right? And that's your custom audience. Maybe you only have 5,000 people in your CRM database and VIN solutions. If you then take that 5,000 people and you stick them in Facebook and you upload them, you can find an audience that already looks alike or looks similar to your customers. Meaning if your customers have certain behaviors or if they're likely in the market to purchase a GMC Sierra, or let's say you sell Buick Encores or you sell Ford F-150s and they shop at Cabela's and Facebook cookies that those people and they kind of follow their behavior. What happens is you can have Facebook build an audience that looks similar or looks like um, the people that you already uploaded from your database, which is really, really cool because you can go from an audience of 5,000 people to like 5 million people. Uh, you can really, really expand out your audience. Um, we typically recommend that you work with an audience uh, somewhere between like 300,000 people to 800,000 people is a really good sample size. Um, so look like audiences are great. Saved audiences are really, really good for conquesting customers, right? They're not your current database, but they're on Facebook. Facebook tracks their behavior. Facebook knows um, these people are in market for vehicle financing. They've looked at Mitsubishis. They've looked at Chevy Silverados. They've looked at whatever. Um, so you can tell Facebook, you could say, okay, I want 18 to 65 year olds. They're interested in this. They have these behaviors. Uh, so and so forth. And then you can save that audience and have your ads serve to them and you can create traffic and leads and all kinds of things. And then last, we have what's called special ad audience with car dealers. If you are advertising 0% for 72 months, anything with credit, finance, payments, you have to use special ads category. Um, you have to use a special ads audience. And then in there, you can choose people that are in market for cars, people in market for SUVs, people in market for trucks. Um, so you have just as many great audiences in the special ads audience, and you go directly in to create special ad audience. And then once you click on it, what it's going to do is it's going to walk you guys through the steps of what you do. Now, I would highly recommend you reach out to us or you sign up for one of our online classes. If you're not sure how to get any further in this process, we can help you with custom audiences, lookalike audiences, saved audiences, and special ads. We can actually help you with anything. Okay. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that was helpful.